Yes. Uh huh. Okay, so I, I apologize. My my captain is, is tied up, so I, I I told him just forward it to me, and I would uh, take care of or see if I could help you out. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. What was your name again? Sergeant Stein. Sergeant si- uh, Stein. S e e i n. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Great. Um. Yeah, I'm recording the call by the way. As for um, just public education purposes, kind of as a not really. Um, I'm not really like a journalist or anything like that. I'm just, um, I just uh, try to, uh, oh, well, from my own personal understanding and um, then to help other people understand kind of, you know, what to expect when dealing with law enforcement and, you know, different issues and stuff like that. And uh, so specifically what this is about, I ran across a video online. Excuse me. Where are you located, sir? Oh, I'm in Oklahoma. You're in Oklahoma. That's correct. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So uh, go ahead and tell me how you think we can help you, sir. Um, well, there were, uh, it's it's a video of a of a of a young man that was jaywalking on the street, and um, then there was a subsequent altercation with the police, um, and then the situation escalated to where he was uh, being tasered, like repeatedly. Um, and, uh, so it was, then, then there was like some, you know, people's reaction was like, oh, that's, you know, maybe kind of extreme or, um, kind of over the top. Uh, Are you talking about, you must be talking about an incident that occurred over uh, about a year ago. That that was about a year ago? Okay. Yeah. yeah. you're, You're talking something that's long done and over with and, uh. As far as being tased several times, he wasn't. He was tased as according to policy and okay. based on the situation. But uh, go ahead. What, what, what question do you have? Because this is long over with, done, and mm-hmm. mute us. Well, I mean, it's just, um, well, I mean, the, you know, in regards to, you know, that it's, you know, I understand that it's long over with and all that. But um, it, it's, it's, okay. When I go out and, you know, travel or do anything, there's there's a chance, you know, I may, you know, come up to have to interact with police on some level or something. Um, so it, it's it's helpful to understand where 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 the attitudes and the um, kind of notions of the police are at. You know what I'm saying? I think it's well, important. It's just important kind of, you know, just for like basic survival. You know what I mean? Is to can get, I ask you a question, sir? Why would you not call Oklahoma police or state police and see how it applies to you there? Oh, I do. Not- I, I do. I do do that, sir. Yeah. I, I, I've called them several times. I tried to call them today, too. But, uh, um, well, yeah, but this is the, the reason why I'm calling you is that, um, it, it was not so much the, the incident of itself, it was the reaction to the incident. It was like, yes, that was appropriate. Yes, we were doing the right thing. You know, he was uncooperative. So, but what it what it amounts to is like you have a, a jaywalking incident. Now, nobody was hurt. Nobody was in danger. The, the, the man was going about his business, going to the store to purchase something. It turned into a situation where he was being violently accosted by these police officers. So, okay, so that's your, stop. That's your opinion. You don't know all the circumstances. He wasn't okay. violently nothing. Okay. On the video, it was within policy. It was in. It was within policy. Okay. No charges were filed. Nothing was investigated by Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Okay. No charges were brought against the officers. No charges or any investigation was conducted by an outside agency claiming we had a problem, discrimination, or anything of such nature. Nothing came of this case. Well, yeah. Okay. That's you know. I, that's that's good. I mean, well. But you know, you know the the. It, it still remains. It's like okay. Here, I'm just trying. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a, a grasp or an understanding of, of sort of the logic or the thinking behind, you know, what you just said and what the captain said about the incident. So, um, so you're saying it's not, that, that cap- was- it's not what the captain said about the incident, sir. And it's not a case that we. It, it is public record. You're mm-hmm. free to come down here or. Uh, request the report and whatever came of the investigation. But like I had explained to you, sir, 
this was within our policy. Mm-hmm. The, I can't speak for the officers. They okay. did a proper stop for jaywalking. Whether anyone agrees with it or not, it is a law not created by Castleberry Police Department. Right. It is a state statute. I'm sure Oklahoma has a state statute on jaywalking. Sure. And it's unfortunately that it escalated by the subject, not by us. Okay. And we handled it accordingly. Uh, now, jaywalking, you know, you, you would concur, is not, it's not a violent act or it's not a uh, threatening act in any way. It's not... It's not something that, like, um, if somebody's jaywalking in the street and I have to slow down. It's kind of like a minor inconvenience, but it's not something that's like a, uh, it's not, it's not a, it's not an insult to my person. It's not a violent act on me or anything like that. Um, aggravating, irritating, sure, and, and probably not the, you know, safest thing in the world at all, but, um, it, um, but, you know, but but the fact remains, it was like this interaction with the police, and this this man was maybe, um, you know, he he didn't want to produce identification, and um, and so then it then it sort of, um, you know, the the police were were of the position that yet yes, you absolutely must produce ID. That's the law, and if you don't, we were going to violent. Well, th- th- this is a this is based on what I saw on the video. It's like. Okay, sir, you're, you're, you're not showing ID. Happened, sir, you're in Oklahoma. We're in Florida. We okay. can't compare apples to apples. And this is actually a mute point because it happened well over a year ago. It's an open and shut case, and and you're in Oklahoma. So you're saying that that's that um, that interaction was you're saying was appropriate though. That's that's what I'm trying to address. You're saying that that's how it how it escalated was uh-huh. we we adjusted our attention or we um what what's the proper term we escalated as it escalated our okay. our uh we wanting to contact any individual is allowed by law mm-hmm. but we also have to react based on their reaction and he overreacted but we're not further at this police department discussing the case because we don't have a problem with the actions that occurred yeah, and that's and that's the reason why I'm you know calling you or, or or trying to get an understanding of where the where the police are at as far as their you know mentality and what they think is appropriate and what's not. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's it's no, I don't because everything we did was appropriate. Yeah, that okay. You might not think so. So you're and saying every, that's totally other- appropriate to turn a nonviolent situation um, we didn't based turn on it what any- I what I saw on the video was escalated because the man could have potentially been shot and killed because if the officer had seen that he was carrying that firearm, um, that was would constitute a threat. And you're killing a man for jaywalking is what I'm trying to get at. And did you know that there's been several Supreme Court decisions that the, the, the ruling was that the police have, you have, as a police officer, sir, have no legal obligation whatsoever to protect the citizenry. You know that, right? So let me explain something. Are you, well, I'm sorry, are you aware of that? What are the questions well, you I just got to ask me? Anything. This case is shut, closed, concluded, and no violations were committed by the officer, and the subject escalated it. We didn't. But do, we you, do, do you, do you have a comment on what I just asked you? Sir? Do you have any? Do you have a response to what I just got through asking you? Also, I have any comments is because this case, as far as the Castleberry Police Department, is shut case done. Oh, okay, oh. Um, let's let's uh, set that aside then. Um, it, w- did did you know that um, you, as a police officer, you're a police officer, correct? I'm a supervisor, yes, sir. Okay, did you know that you, as a police officer, are not legally oper- uh, obligated? to protect me, my safety, or anybody else's safety. Did you know that? Legally well, I, obligated. Uh, I am obligated to uphold the laws of the state of Florida. Not according to the Supreme Court, you're not. There's been several rules. There was just a recent one where a man was, uh, he was stabbed in a subway in New York City. The police were standing like 20 feet away and didn't intervene in the uh, altercation between um, some like crazed lunatic and that was sir, stabbing you're, people sir, with you're a not, knife. You're not talking apples they, to apples to me. You called me about a specific case. I responded no, to it's your supreme, call. No, it's a Supreme Court. It's not apples to apples because it's Supreme Court. I have an obligation to uphold the laws of the 
state of Florida, and I will do it all the time. I, no, I'm not saying that you wouldn't. You probably more than likely would intervene on any kind of violent act. You know, I'm sure you probably would, but um, th- that's not the case. The case is uh, that you're not legally obligated to do so. You yes, understand I am. that, I'm right? Sworn, I'm sworn to do it. But no, you 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 can't be held accountable if you don't. Is what I'm saying. No police officer so that, can. That's, that's that's not a true statement, sir. That's according to the Supreme Court rulings. I have them in front of me. If you want me to read them off to you, I have sir, like I'm five not, or six of them in front I'm, of me. I'm, I'm not being rude to you. Don't misunderstand me. Okay. I'm not even going to lie to you. I really don't care about the ruling. I am sworn to uphold the laws of the state of Florida and the actions that are presented before me, and so are my officers. And everybody else. But that, you want to, you're, you're swearing sir? to the um, codes and the rules and the laws, which include Supreme Court decisions, right? Is that correct? Sir, I, I don't know where we're going with this whole conversation while you're in Oklahoma and in Florida. I'm not going to debate this with you at all. Because the, these these apply to the, the police officers across the board is what I'm what I'm trying to get at. I, it's it's not a state okay. it's not a state issue. Okay, so sir, what's your point? So. Well, I mean, okay, the point is there was a situation where um, a man could have been uh, killed, his life taken for jaywalking by officers well, who it, have no did, legal obligation to happen. protect his life or anybody else's life. Like, like if you um, didn't intervene into an action and, and someone was hurt or injured or killed, um, no one can sue you personally. No one can uh, come after the government or anything like that. So the government is 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 yeah. behaving on this premise that um, they're they're what they're guardians of safety somehow. But then when it when it when it comes down to um, you know you know where the rubber hits the road or everyone you know say it, they then the Supreme Court says no no they're not legally obligated to protect anybody. That, okay. And that's, I, I don't think, think people understand that. They, they acquiesce okay, sir, in the, sir, uh, what, the... Sir, what is the point of this phone call to this agency? What, what can I do for you? What, what's the point of this call, sir? Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm being, like, um, you know, reasonable with you. I'm not, like, I'm not... Uh, I don't, I don't I see understand this... That, uh, sir. I, I, don't, I don't have time while I'm supervising a ship to stay on the phone... To debate what your beliefs are compared to what my beliefs are, because I will tell you right now, it's by what I say, not anyone else. And no, I, I mean, uphold the law, okay. and that's it. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I'm just putting some stuff out there, maybe for your consideration. You know, like, there is no, sir, I'll be honest with you, there is no consideration. The no. officers did what they were supposed to do. This is the case over a year ago. It's a mute point with the city of Castleberry and the Castleberry Police Department and the chief of police and the captain here, and no one seems to have an issue. Yeah, well, okay, so you, basically what you're saying, like, you have no regard for uh, Supreme Court decisions, that those these things don't have any you bearing on your behavior at all, my, but you're a law you enforcement interpret. officer. I don't understand that. I don't, I, that's you what I'm trying to get at. You're in Oklahoma. I'm in Florida. You can interpret Supreme Court my is federal, and sir. And one. The, 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 it governs the whole sta- all the states and the uh, Great. basic constitutional stuff and all that. That's Supreme Court. Great. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why you're calling, sir. I apologize. I have no idea why you're calling the police department. Well, I mean, I've, I think I've explained myself pretty well. I mean, I, I, it's you you're, know. you're calling. You're calling, sir, about a case that's over a year old and nobody cares about. I'm being honest with you. Not trying to cause an argument. This is a mute point. Nothing is going to be done through this conversation. No. I, I, well, I mean, I was well, hoping maybe I could like. So uh, excuse me. Other than that, you have an opinion, and so do I. And unfortunately, and not being to be rude, my opinion is right now what counts the most. Oh, I know that because if you don't know the law or anything, you're going to act on that, and then you're going to run roughshod over me. And then it's like it's it's up to me to prove my innocence in court and all that. After I've been drugged to the court and hired an attorney and spent some time in jail, then I might get okay. Oh yeah, they violated your rights. We'll let you off. That that sort of thing happens all the time. I understand that, sir. Um, but I'm you know I'm not. It's nothing personal between me and you. I have family that is law enforcement and all that. I'm not I'm not against cops or anything by any means, but. So why don't you um, call that's why I think family. it helps why to talk about Why would you want to call the Castleberry Police Department? Why don't you call your family that are other officers and debate this with them? Unless you're going to tell me they side with you, then that's fine. 
Uh, well, you know, it's 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 because you know they're not. I mean, my my, my uncle's retired. My dad's dead. It, it's it it's they're, they're not out there on the street like you are. So like if I if I if I maybe get something across to you by you know accident, you know you might you might get to think about it later, and it it may affect your actions down the road. You know, if you maybe you get on the internet and you start looking these cases up and stuff like that, and then well, maybe sir, you I don't, I, sir, have a I've different been, idea I'm, about. I'm a Escalating I'm a jaywalking officer, into a potentially lethal situation. That's what that's what I'm saying. It was a year I'm ago, a but the officer, the, the policies still remain, and the and the cops still remain on the street, and they still apparently have the same exact attitudes, and they don't have a problem with escalating jaywalking into a potentially lethal situation. And I I don't I I, I just don't think that's good at all. I don't I don't think that's a good um, climate or situation. We have a use of force policy that also covers whether how we need to escalate it based on the situation. I'm a supervisor of over 16 years. I've been on the road almost 29 years, mm-hmm. and nothing that was done has been violated. And anything that you're asking me, I'm not going to. Re- I don't review cases. I stand by the decisions that I make as a supervisor. I back the officers, and we handle things accordingly. They didn't violate anything. They didn't violate any policy. They didn't violate any state Florida state statutes. Uh-huh. They didn't violate any civil rights. There's no issue. None. It is of your opinion, which everyone has opinions, and that's fine. No problem. You can quote all the state Supreme Court rules that you want. That's fine, too. Mm-hmm. But I'm good at what I do, and I stand by the decisions. And, again, you're calling about a case that's over a year old, and nobody cares about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just want to say this. I mean, I appreciate what you all do. I mean, I may, I may not, you may not... Uh, you know, take that seriously after what I just said, but it's true. I mean, I know that your job is not the easiest job in the world by any means. And, um, you know, but it's like, I think we, if we can like t- talk and o- have an open discussion and not be confrontational, cause that's, it's ridiculous to have the, the population and the police at, at some sort of like enmity. Like we're, we're, cause we're just pe- we're all just people, right? I mean, come on we have to like live in this thing called society. So, you know, hopefully just by just having this conversation with you, it, it may influence you in some way. I think you've helped me understand you guys. You've helped me, Not at all. but it, I haven't helped you. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's worth a try, I think, cause you know, I have to, you know, deal with you guys just driving down the street. I just got a, I just got pulled over for not wearing a seatbelt last week and, yeah, you know, it's kind of a regular occurring thing. So, you know, it's kind of like helps to kind of understand like exactly who I'm dealing with and what their mindset is, you know, because like the officer said that pulled me over, like, yeah, you don't show up to court. There'll be a warrant out for your arrest, which, you know, the guy's got a gun, he's got a taser and I could die for not wearing a seatbelt if it comes to that, because like that's that's sort of the mentality and that and that. And that seems to be in reinforced with what you just got through saying. Like, you have no problem with escalating a jaywalking situation if they don't obey your commands. Um, and then no, the guy so you're It's escalated up, based on their actions, not me escalating it. It's based on the actions of others that makes causes me to change what I need to do on how I handle the situation. Yeah, but you have the option to say, hey, the guy was just jaywalking. He may not be in a good mood. Eh, just let it go. Let it go. What's wrong with that? You have to... Those, those, you, those officers chose not to do it. They didn't do anything wrong. You have to enforce said law. Eh, no, you don't. You don't You do not do it with your buddies. I didn't, uh, say, the, I didn't say we had to, sir. Uh, sir. Tell me you Those don't. You don't. Tell me you don't cut can. slack to your your cronies and your buddies. Tell me you don't do that, and then and then come back with me and expect me to take you seriously. Well, I know I'll you have what, the option. As as, sir, I'll tell you what. As far as I'm concerned, this conversation is now over. Okay, you know what I'm saying is true. You you know what I'm saying is right. So have a nice just, day, Yeah, you have a, you, just 